and welcome to another episode of Surviving Survival. Um, so today I'm just going to show you around what I have been doing this week. And I've been doing quite a few things, I think. It's quite a bit. Um, so let's start with over in the barn over here. So in the barn, I have managed to separate all of my animals, my sheep, and my horses, and my cows, and my pigs. Um, this took quite a while because uh, I put one animal in and then another animal would come out and eventually I got there. And then I've managed to, this wandering trader has just randomly come into my little bit of land. Um, so I think that's just j just randomly spawned in there because um, I've got a fence all the way around, so it can't get in anywhere. Um, so I do just think that's just randomly spawned here. So another thing I did is I did a bit of investigating in the outside world. And I come across some uh, treasure chests. And in there we found some TNT. And um, the Heart of the Sea, a couple of Heart of the Seas and a couple of potions. So I've got three potions in here. Um, one I got from a witch, um, but I've got a water one and a potion of healing, so they should come in handy. And what else have I done? So I man, oh, I found a village and I've took a few of their bits and bobs, so I've got some emeralds in there. And I also stole some of their bits and bobs. Um, I've created an enchanting table and a couple of bookshelves. I haven't done many of them yet. And I've put all the lapis in there now. And then what else? Upstairs in the bedroom, I've stole a bed from the village and some carpet and uh, just made the bedroom so I've got this as well made the bedroom look a little bit better with a bit of carpet and the extra bed in there because um, if you watched my last video you would have seen that we only had two beds and there was two kids that joined me on here so um, that kind of helps them sleep but also this mob spawner wasn't quite working so what I've done is I've just added in another level to it um, to see if that helps with my mob generation in there and also, I don't know if you can see, but I've also added some um, nether portals in there. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I was hoping that some pigmen would come out and then it worked the same as the mob spawner and they'd come down here. But I haven't had any yet and I did it a couple of days ago, so I'm not sure that's going to work. But I'll keep it up there for now and we'll see. We'll see what happens. So another thing I've done is um, I wanted to create a, a wheat farm, but it was just too big for that area that I've got in the front. So I've extended out the side here. Um, so the wheat area is got its own little sort of area here. It's just a, a simple wheat farm. Um, you click on the button, the water comes down and washes away all the wheat and the seeds into a chest at the bottom. And uh, then I just have to manually replant everything. So it's not massively automated, um, but it, it does the job. And I'm getting a lot more wheat from that now rather than just the five little bits that I was getting on the, on the little farm upstairs. So up there now where the wheat was, I've just planted some more carrots. Um, so that is a lot better because I'm just using... Um, the wheat to feed my animals at the minute so I can get more leather etc and just having five bits of wheat every so often wasn't really working very well. Um, this um, sugarcane farm I've managed to break I don't know how so I'm gonna have to pull that apart and put it back together again <laughs> and um, yeah the next big thing that I've done is I found a village quite far away and I looted a lot of their stuff. But then I thought I'm going to build a um, underground 
sort of train station area to the village now when I find a lot of these little places I'm going to sort of make a sort of train underground train system that takes me to them so I note down the coordinates of the place and then I'm just going to dig underground until I get to it and put some um, tracks down at the minute it's just tracks I do want some powered rail but I'm struggling to get um, I'm struggling to get the gold to be fair I've only managed to mine one bit of gold in here and then I've got five bits of gold nugget just there which I've managed to get from some pigment in the in the nether so if anyone's got any idea on how to find gold that would be really helpful if you could put that in the comments because um, I'm really struggling at the minute and I really really want that powered rail in there just to make it easier because at the minute it's a little bit slow so I've got my mine cart <clears throat> and we'll go down into where the village is I've put a little sign up that says village um, so let's just jump in here. Like I said, it's a bit slow at the minute and that's why I need my powered rail really. At the minute it is probably quicker to walk this bit until you get to a part where I go down. Um, because there was parts along here where I come across water so I had to dig down further. Um, <clears throat> so there is sections where it goes even further down underground um, so I really get momentum just there so I'm just gonna get out this minecart because it's just taken way too long and uh, we'll run to where there is a downwards uh, part so I can get on the minecart and go down a bit quicker um, so I managed to get quite a lot of resources from from digging this out mostly coal uh, I did get a bit of iron as well and I do think I want to make this a bit bigger so take out a block either side of the track just to make this turn a little, little bit bigger but I think until I've got other tracks going different ways um, don't, I don't want to do that just yet so like I said this, this village is quite far away um, and I don't really know why I've done a track to the village because I've already looted a lot of, uh, of the stuff that they've got there but I thought it was quite good to, well for one, get me somewhere further away quicker, I can investigate a little bit further away nearer where the village is and then get back home quite quickly with this underground tunnel without being attacked by a load of mobs. So that's, that's the one plus thing I suppose of doing this. Um, is is being able to explore further away quite quickly so I'm starting to slow down again now so I think probably better to get out of this minecart and start running again I think we're near the end run 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 and I'm hoping it's not going to be dark by the time we get there but it probably is so I might have to sleep in one of the the villagers' beds. So <clears throat> I thought what I might do with this as well is kind of um, trap the villagers in and have like um, a villager trading hall type thing where this village is. Um, oh yeah, it is dark. Do I go up there or do I stay down here? I can't stay down here all night. Let's go up. So if we just try and avoid the iron... Iron man? Um, <laughs> iron golem. Is there a bed in here? No, I don't think there is. Let's go out and try and find a bed so I can sleep. There's a mob. Get away, quick. Quick, quick, quick. I think it's just... Uh, in the villages at the minute why are they not asleep was that my fault is that because i've slept in their bed um right let's try and go in here <clears throat> right 
you get out, please. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. And I'll sleep now. So, now it is daytime. I don't think there's anything in this chest that I want. Nope. Uh, yeah, like I said, I might build this as a villager trading hall so I can trade with all these villagers. Um, and I'm hoping I'm not scared them away by coming here. I don't quite know how it works with villagers. I'm going to have to do a bit of research on this. By sleeping in his bed, have I stopped him from ever sleeping again? Maybe you can tell me. I don't know. I'm a big noob with survival. Oh no, here's a creeper. Uh, oopsies. Right, mm. let's get back to the house. So yeah, that's kind of my plan for this village. And we're going to go and investigate some other places as well. If you want to come along on that journey, let me know in the comments. Um, I want to find uh, maybe a um, jungle man or a mansion, um, other bits and bobs. What well, you'll have to tell me. What what is the best place to get stuff in? Like, what's the best loot somewhere? I don't know really. Um, so. I think I'm going to have to have a look into it, see where I want to go next, and I'll take you on the journey with me. Probably not all the way, if it's that far away, but um, I probably will die, because I normally do. But I'm going to have to make sure I take a bed, I think, and then once we know where these places are, I can note down the coordinates, and then we can do a little underground railway to that place, so we can get back there again. But as you can tell, this took a lot of rail, a lot of iron. Luckily, I have the iron farm. Um, but at the last village I got the villagers from, from that, for the iron farm, I've completely uh, nicked all of the villagers from there. So that is an abandoned village now. So I haven't... Um, I haven't done a track to that one. It just is not worth it. I've took everything from there that I wanted and I might go back there again and see what see what else maybe I can come across something that I didn't want when I went, but now I do. Um we'll, we'll just have to see what happens there. So back the very long way back home. Although the safest option underground, because I don't get attacked by anything. Um, so my, like I said, my mob spawner is working a lot better now. Um, oh, and I managed to get a crossbow from the nether. Killed a mob in the nether and got a crossbow. So that's pretty cool. So run, 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 run. Nearly there. Just hoping one day I'm not running across along here and there's loads of mobs. I think I've managed to light it up enough. So I think there's just one more thing that I have done that I'm going to show you now. And that is um, a platform on the house. <coughs> Oh yeah, I managed to nick that composter as well from the village. Um, let's have a look, see if we've got any mobs in here. No, doesn't look like it. I think most of the time, if I'm around this back end of the of the garden, it does tend to create some mobs. If I'm too far away, it doesn't do anything. That's working, that's good. <coughs> So yeah, like I said, just one more thing that I want to show you. And if we go upstairs, I will show you what that is. 
so just here um it, i don't know if you remember but it ended just where these oak planks are it ended so i found myself that i was jumping up and looking over the fence and i couldn't really see a lot so i've kind of made this balcony type thing at the back of the house so i can see this wonderful view just here and see what's going on so i can see all the way along the back of the house now um over the fences see what mobs are about see if it's safe to go out and because um, i can see pretty much from the front i can see quite a lot so from here i can see all down the end there um and also from this end as well i can see the side i can see that tree area so i can see quite far from from this house but this little balcony and this little hole is still there to get down but yeah i can see quite a lot from this balcony i quite like it the scenery is lovely um so that's it really and um, we just got to do some more adventuring and see what we can find and uh, again um if anybody knows of any other farms i can do to make my life easier that would also be brilliant so thank you for joining me see you on the next episode